I felt very suffocated working for someone else so I could control my own destiny. I'm a creator, I'm a manufacturer, I'm a maker. It's in my blood, it's in my bones. Today we're visiting a producer that started 19 years ago making muesli and the most wonderful cookies at Pure Delish. It's the brainchild and it's the baby of Karen Staples here in New Zealand, Auckland. We had no money. I had two small children at home and I'm a great baker. So I decided to make some Christmas cakes and sell them at the markets and walk the streets and see if people would want to buy them. I got a taste of making it, baking it, seeing the end result and then getting paid for it. Kyrdlish has this story that is so real that it's hard to believe. I started in 1997. Pure Delish is a creative company. We make one and a half to two tonnes of cereal a day and we make it by hand. We pack it by hand. We've gone where no one else has ever gone. We've created a category that no one ever thought was possible. We like a bakery. We try and keep it fresh. So we're manufacturing, we pack it, it comes to the warehouse and it could be on a supermarket shelf within three, four days. We do a whole range of different breakfast cereals. Grain-free granola, what, yeah. why grain-free? People don't want grain anymore. It's one of the trends. About seven years ago, that's when I started bringing in these more grain-free, healthy products. I could see where the market was going. Paleo-friendly is now the buzzword, but we've been doing it for seven years. Where do you get your ingredients from? All around the world. You think of all the nuts and seeds we use, we're going through tons and tons a month. We pay top dollar, but it's all around quality and making sure it's coming from a good source. Every single box of material that you see come in, G, hand checks. G, you've seen every nut yeah. that's gone through this factory. You know, we are human beings, we can miss some things, and I'm the one to find out. I could not own Pure Delish if we didn't make the product ourselves. I have had quite a lot of pressure over the years to contract manufacture, because as your business grows, it's really hard to create a manufacturing environment so contract manufacturing often is the easy option, but I see us as a family. You can help people when you employ people. That really makes me happy to think that I'm making a difference to 28 people's lives. I always talk about them as artisan and as highly skilled people. We often say, who can come up with something that's going to make things better? It's like a big family. You need to have the passions in what you are doing and what you are making, and you can create. To get some practicum experience as part of the degree, I thought this is the perfect place to work. And whenever people would come past with Pure Delish, I'd be like, <laughs> that's me. And it's pretty awesome that you can see your product displaying over there on the show. This is our bakery side of the business. We're making the primal biscuits. So you can see they're all hand rolled, hand pressed, into these tins and then baked in those ovens. We don't believe that extruding the product doesn't get what we want, doesn't get the finished result. Misha, are those cooked now? May, yes. may I have a taste? These get dipped into chocolate. So it gets even better than this? Yeah. We provide the staff with three cooked lunches a week. So whatever they can afford, they donate X dollars a week, and then that money goes to a charity. It creates a sense of community. Everyone sits together. It also gives me the opportunity to control what they're eating. It's real food, because we're a real food company. All these people are incredibly skilled. They're not just on a production line. What the girls are doing here, they're breaking up, looking for anything that looks wrong, and then it gets scooped into the bag. If that was going through a filling machine, you wouldn't be able to do that. So this is our one bit of automation. This is our flow wrapper, which is amazing. It's changed their lives, the ones that have been here ages, because they're like, this is so much better than what we were doing before. So they, they see the, the value in that, and also we're growing. The original 
passion behind creating my own business was so I could control my own destiny. I felt very suffocated working for someone else. I always knew that I would follow my own dream. There's still a lot of work to do. You can't sit on your laurels. We're doing really well, but a business has to go forward. I want us to be an iconic New Zealand brand for amazing, healthy food. It's an integrity, honesty, transparency. I will invite anyone off the street to come and see what we do and inspire them to make something. We're losing the art of making things. It's the foundation of an economy. It employs a hell of a lot of people. It takes us back to our roots of what we're all about, is making something out of nothing. I'm a creator. I'm a manufacturer. I'm a maker. It's in my blood. It's in my bones. Thank you for watching. We want to make more of these videos and your support makes it possible so please subscribe below and share it with as many people as you can.